Oh, they never get it right. <laughs> that won't, oh well. All of this will make sense on radio. I'm a very boring performer. I'm from Belfast, that's what this noise is. Uh, but I am called Vittorio Angeloni. So I come from an immigrant background, I'm half Italian. Um, that gets a round of applause in London. <laughs> I do, my family had to move away from Italy during World War II to get away from all the bombs and the violence. <laughs> <laughs> so they moved to Belfast, um, good work team, out of the frying pan, into the IRA, all right, um, sorry, you're old enough to be scared of those words, um, oh, okay, give me a long three minutes, uh, <laughs> no, I don't mind English people, mostly, uh, my girlfriend's English, so I hate her, um, <laughs> No, look, see, when she's there, I love her. I think she's the best person in the world, right? But when she's not there, the concept of her. I hate her, because all couples have little arguments, right? A classic one is you took up more than half the bed. But I feel like an English-Irish relationship is the only one where she takes up more than half the bed, and I call her a colonial bastard. <laughs> We moved in together recently, and since we moved in, she keeps calling everything ours, instead of mine and hers. I'm like, you've stolen enough from my people. <laughs> I was getting out of hand. I was walking to work recently, and I found 30 pounds in cash on the street. I was like, this is the best day of my whole life. Right? So I phoned her up. I like sharing nice moments. I, like, I found 30 pounds on the street. She was like, that's amazing. We can go for dinner tonight. <laughs> we? I'm moving to Mexico. Like, I don't know what you <laughs> think's happening. But I go out quite late in the evenings to do gigs and stuff, so I get into the house quite late, so I don't have time to cook or anything, so I'll just pick up chicken and chips on the way home, right? And I'll sit down in the kitchen to eat my chicken and chips. Problem is, she thinks everything's ours. She just comes in, she's like, oh, how was the gig? And just takes a chip. And have you heard of generational trauma? <laughs> it's when something that happened to your ancestors affects you today. So when you steal potatoes from an Irish person, <laughs> We freak out. <laughs> Listen, that'll do. I've been Victoria. I'll see you later on. Bye. <laughs>